Welcome to today's tutorial. In this video, we'll guide you step-by-step -step through the process of importing a UDP custom config file using the HTTP Custom VPN app. Whether you're looking to enhance your browsing speed or improve security, this guide has got you covered. If you find this video helpful, please support us by liking the video and subscribing to our channel. Let's dive right in. First, you need the required UDP custom config file. Start by opening your browser and searching for UDP and slow DNS files. Look for the official link in the search results and click on it. Once you're on the website's homepage, expand the menu by clicking on the hamburger icon at the top left corner. From the expanded menu, select UDP config. A small window will appear with an option labeled HTTP custom file. Click on it to navigate to the download page. A 10 second countdown will start, wait for it to finish. Afterward, a download button will appear, click it to proceed. On the next page you'll see a list of files. Choose the latest HTTP custom config file, click on it and then hit the download button. Within seconds, the file will be saved to your device's storage. Next, ensure you have the latest version of the HTTP custom VPN app installed on your device. If you haven't downloaded it yet, head over to the Play Store, search for HTTP Custom VPN, and install the app. Once it's ready, open the app to proceed with the configuration. On the app's homepage, tap the plus icon to open a drop-down menu. From the available options, select Open Config. This action will bring up your device's download folder. Locate the UDP custom config file you downloaded earlier, select it, and confirm the import. In just a few seconds, the config file will be successfully added to the app. Now that the file is imported, you're ready to connect. Simply tap the connect button on the app's homepage. Within moments, your VPN connection will be established, providing you with a secure and fast browsing experience. And that's it. You've successfully imported and used a UDP custom config file with the HTTP custom VPN app. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel for more tips and tutorials, and share it with others who might find it useful. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.